about this? All 12,500 tickets sold in a half hour. Talking about fans lining up at the Times Union Center box office this morning, hoping to land a ticket to catch Paul McCartney live in July. Our Jennifer Mullen spoke with those excited fans today who say they can't wait to see the former Beatle perform. Are you getting tickets just for you guys? Do you get tickets for other people? Um, us and my parents, too. So you're doing all the hard work? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're paying, though. All right. Hannah Gonzalez and her boyfriend waited for hours outside the box office for their chance to see Paul McCartney for the first time. A few people behind them stands loyal fan Dottie Atwood, waiting to see her star in her hometown. I didn't think he'd ever come to Albany. But I'm really excited that we might, you know, get tickets. And I saw the Beatles back in 1966 at Shea Stadium, so this would be great. The concert also came as a big surprise for longtime McCartney fan Christy Van Patten. The wedding was already planned, and then my friend's mother called to say, guess what, Paul McCartney's coming for your wedding day. And I said, well, we're going to have to move the ceremony. And so wedding dress and all, the bride says she'll be there with one special request. Please, Paul, silly love songs. Yes. Because? Because I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> McCartney will play right here July 5th at the Times Union Center, and arena officials are saying this is going to be the biggest event Albany has seen in over a decade. In Albany, Jennifer Mullen, CBS 6 News.